So today we're in my office and I started a project and I thought, okay, hold on. This could end up being a really cute project that other people might want to see and do to their own place. And so I was like, I'm going to film this. I always tease and I call this room like my she shed and I want to make this a girly room. So I went and I bought these wall decals and what I'm going to do is show you how to put them on and we're just going to hopefully transform this room into just a really pretty place that I hope to film more in. So we're going to take this artwork off these walls and we're going to apply these decals and see if we can kind of transform this room and I don't know maybe it'll give you guys an idea of something that you could do. So let's just get right to it. I don't know how hard this is going to be, I don't know how easy this is going to be. I'm crossing my fingers that it's super easy and we could just wrap this up really quick. Okay, so as you saw, we got them all cut apart, and I'm just going to take some masking tape, like it says in the directions, and I'm going to go around and I'm just going to tape it to the wall where I think like how I want my pattern to go. The best part is, is once you tape it, you can just keep moving it all around to see like how you want it to go. And so, I have no idea. I might actually go back and look at the picture I saw online to see like how they had it, because they recommend some of them like overlapping to just give it like different visually appealing you know, scenery, so I want to do that and let's figure out how we want it and how much of this wall area we want it to cover. Okay, I went and got my step stool. I honestly have no idea how I want to do this design. I am such a newbie at this part, so. And it's, I feel like it's a little difficult to see the flowers through the tape, but you're supposed to leave that on there. Wow, the light's really bright on it. But you're supposed to leave that on there right now, so we're just going to start playing. I think we're going to change our mind about 700 times. Okay. Ooh, I think I like this. Okay, I think I'm going to have that there. And then now we're going to do the other part right over here. I'm not going to undo anything and make anything permanent until I get it all on the wall how I want it. Okay, I think it's gonna bug me that I'm leaving this weird space in the middle. I don't know, should I come on across? <laughs> so I went and I got Jason. I don't want to help have him help me visualize how this is looking. So you know that my chair goes in this and that table sits right here. So I started coming down and I was like, no, I think I'm going to leave it up above. Do you think it's weird how it's meeting here together? It doesn't have to all go together. It can be however you want on the wall, but visually, and some of it will set a little different once the stuff's off. So what do you think looks weird or shouldn't go? Can you come down with that side something or or? You want me to do that? You want me to like go more down like that? Yeah, so it's less symmetrical. And if it did something like this. <laughs> yes, that would be perfect. <laughs> okay, I like your idea. Do you like how this is together? Should I just kind of bring that down and just make it more come down like yeah. that? Yeah. Okay, all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to listen to his advice. <laughs> All right, well, let's do what the big guy says and come more down. I think that'll look better. I was really nice to just step away and get another opinion. And I think, so I'll leave it like this. I don't want to bring it all the way down, I don't think, but let's just start playing. I think that's the game, name of the game with these things.
Okay, lessons I'm learning from doing this. One, it was really great to get someone else's perspective. Two, don't expect to just put them on the wall and that's magically gonna be how you want it. Three, taping them with the masking tape was the best thing I could have ever done. And four, it's not a lot of work, but I now I'm getting so like nitpicky on myself that I'm like, okay, everything needs to shift this way, like six inches. And so now I have to go through and I have to move everything over. But I think in the end, I'll be happy with being picky about it. And I think that you would be also. So let me get this shifted over and then we're gonna start actually getting this on to the wall and see how easy it goes on. I think I finally got it. I have one left and I'm going to wait and see like once I put it all together if there's some place that ended up looking empty that I don't like. So yeah. Oh boy, now I'm scared. Now we're actually gonna like put it on the wall. Okay, I'm gonna begin in this corner and it says once you have this in the spot that you want it, that you need to, okay. So let me get this tape out of the way. Move it down here. Remove the backing off the back. Begin to put down. I hope this is how I want this. And just gently pulling it off, making sure there's no air bubbles. Now, this is a little tricky because I have the greenery going back behind. the outer layer. Okay, patience is definitely gonna be a thing with this because the corners wanna come up. So make sure you rub down hard. done different had I known so you don't have to like cut these out like right around it but I think I would have cut it a little closer to help me figure out my spacing just a smidge more too late now okay I'm actually moving over to this other greenery that's back behind because it needs to go down next in order for this white and pink ones to go over top so I'm gonna actually put this one on next It's kind of tricky. See, because look, I have this one coming over top of that. Maybe I should start all the way over there. Like this one is an all back behind one. Honestly, I think I should put that down. Okay. Hold on. Aren't you glad you got me to do all this for trial and error? <laughs> I love the bright colors of it. Oh wow, it's really pretty. Like really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna move over to here because this one is like back behind. So then this one could go down because it goes over top of these. So let's do that. Oh, I love it. Oh, that looks really nice. I want to maybe tuck that back up under a little more. Okay. Okay, so do you get what I'm doing here? I just want to make sure that I'm doing the ones that go back behind that I'm having tucked up underneath the flowers first because obviously once those go down, I can't get that back behind there. And all you're doing is there is this paper back here and you are releasing that because this has sticky on the back of it. Place that down. And then I remove that and it stays exactly where you want it to be. Then once it's stuck down on the wall, 
you'll just pull the top part off. And yes, you have to pull slow because sometimes it wants to pull it off of the wall with you. Ah, I ripped it. There we go. Okay, so now, so see this one right here is back behind. So I'll move this one. And I know that that one was there. So. We do the same thing. We take the backing down, hook it against the wall, and just slide it down. Now it's stuck to the wall. You could get a little tool, you could get a credit card if you feel like that might be more helpful. And then just pull off the transfer paper. get this exactly how we want it since this is kind of the last piece in this little area. I really like how it turned out. I hope this gave you guys some good tips. Definitely take your time and plan out how you want it. It made such a difference. Also, get someone else's opinion, help someone step away and look at it. Thank you to Jason for just giving me the idea to bring it down like that. I really like it. I like how it covers the wall. And I just love the really pretty like feeling that it gives to me in here. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.